Hello, hello. I'm here for the daily word for May 5th. And yes, 5-5, five, five, good numbers. You can look it up, I guess. Right? Okay. We're going to um, work on these uh, Aleister Crowley deck here. And really, in the last week, the theme has been about major love, partnership love, romantic love, just the whole, the whole spectrum, and how it, it can bring abundance, and it's the universal theme, and I'm, I'm happy to say it comes from the Book of Toth. So yes, okay, so let's put... The Ace of Cups that has come up twice with the Two of Cups, with the Fulfilling Pleasure Six of Cups, with the um, Prince of Cups. Oh, it's just been one of those. And then, you know, Empress and Emperor. Uh, just, wow. Really wonderful. And it's time to get moving. And thank you all for, you know, sending me the good wishes on my move. And, and I'm an example. I'm just going, okay, this one kind of was like moving, so we're, this is the one going to be the card. But I'm moving now too, people, so it's not a bad thing. <laughs> and the hermit. Oh, I'm just saying, oh, because I, I sort of feel that's where I'm at. I'm in a, into a lot of self-introspection and moving forward and, you know, once I move from here in my new place, you know, if anybody asks me what I believe in, I'm going to tell them straight out where before I used to just hide and now I was raised Catholic kind of thing, you know. I don't know if I'll come out and tell them I'm a, I'm a witch on the YouTube. <laughs> anyway, and the hermit, it's actually... Um, Alistair Crowley, I think he he considers himself this number when he was writing this book. And you see he's got the three-headed um, dog there or wolf pack. Or, you know, it's obviously canine influence there. And, uh, yes, and it looks like a kind of wand. But everything has its own. Um, I have to, I think her name was Frida. The artist who painted for him. But let's see what Alistair Crowley says about his deck here because I do, um, uh, I, I have to believe that it was he who would go within to find all this information he, he brought out. Okay, that's nine, the hermit. Okay, the hermit. And that is, uh, uh, ruled by Virgo, the Yod, and he has different things on how he explains things, but the Hermit. Here we have in the hand of the Hermit. Okay, let me hold the card up too while we read the book. Okay. Alrighty. The Hermit. Here we have in the hand of the Hermit the lamp or sacred, the lamp or sacred wisdom. It contains the sun, which is hidden beneath the surrounding darkness to fructify the earth. The hermit is looking at the egg. Okay, the hermit is looking at the egg. Okay. Sorry, I'm on my iPhone, people. The clarity is not as good, but the hermit is looking at the egg, which is also known as the universe. Can you see that? But anyway, the universe is in capital letters. Okay. Um, which is surrounded by the snake. See the snake. A symbol of life. The hounds of hell. Here we go. Here's Alistair Crowley now coming out. <laughs> the hounds of hell endeavor to snatch the sacred light and the little homunculus. The wheat is in the Masonic tradition. Okay, and you see the weave of the wheat. Yes, and you see it's all about that Masonic, you know, that Freemason, that alchemy. They all practice that, and, you know, so did, you know, Hitler, and they have, you know, that 
they learn how to read and tap, you know, extraterrestrial information, ancient information. So that's why we need to at least be aware of, you know, how to tap it. It's not everyone can. It's like everyone's intuitive, everyone's psychic. It's just, you know, we got to do it. Okay, well, the um, alchemical hermit has spoken, and um, I'm just going to pick one more that's right on top here because I want to see um, what else we have. And we have the Four of Wands, completion. Well, that's a nice card, I'd say. Very good. We're moving forward, people. We're moving forward. The wheel is moving forward. You cannot stop it. Completion. And um, just to say what the w completion deck stands for. Yes. <laughs> and the Four of Wands. Okay. And here we go. Isn't this beautiful? Um, and this is... Uh, if you pay attention to the loves, the doves of love, and the airy symbols, okay, it says, and this is the four of wands, and, you know, you usually see those four pillars in a traditional tarot, and there's usually, you know, they're standing strong for that stability foundation beginning with the four, and the four of wands reads, completion, Venus in Aries, so you can see Venus, the love dove, the dove of love with Aries, um, and uh, the ram there. The wands are headed by rams and at the other end of doves. The number four conveys the introduction of order into creation. Beautiful. And that's what the hermit's about to do, no doubt about it. Okay, minor arcana always learns from major arcana. So he knows the alchemy of taking this, and now he's all his wisdom is within him, and he's going to take it to the next next card, which in the major in the major arcana is the number ten, the wheel of fortune, the wheel card. Okay, so you see how the tarot tells a story, but. Remember, we're going to learn from this deck because his is all about the alchemical moments, the numbers and the symbols, and, and this is like truly, you know, Rolls Royce of tarot. <laughs> okay, it's engineered. It's engineered to work with everything of Mother Nature. Okay, my friends, thank you for watching. And uh, welcome to the May 5th reading. Uh, we're moving forward. So know who you are by now. You have to have been the hermit by now. And you know what you want, stability-wise, foundation-wise. You're placing it, and you're going to go for it. Okay, and it doesn't matter what age you are, whether you're in your 20s, 50s, 80s. Keep going for it. Okay. Hasta la vista. Mañana. Chao.